I grew up inland, away from the ocean, never really got to be in the ocean regularly. It was my dream to be able to wake up and walk to the beach, see the water. As long as I can live walking to the beach, I'm all right. Gotsroy is a surfboard company based out of Capo Beach. I started putting labels on boards and trying to shape them for customers when I was probably about like 18. It means cat hero. In today's world, there's plenty of hot doggers out there in the water wearing leashes. There's not that many casual cats, you know? Learning to surf without a leash, you think about your positioning on the waves. You know, you're not just flinging your board around. These boards are meant to kind of sit in the wave. The bottom uh, displaces the water up, the board sinks down, and you're riding a trim line. The idea is that these boards need to be riding the waves themselves without anyone riding them. Robin is really a truly creative artist. He doesn't dance to the beat of everybody else. He's his own man with his own ideas. If you see what Gato Heroi is doing, you're going to see that happening on other brands in, you know, six months to a year. The people that ride Gato Heroi boards, you couldn't classify them by age. Somebody that's just interested in the performance of the board on the wave and developing this intimate relationship between riding the board and the wave itself so that they all come together in a uh, sort of fluid whole. We do a lot of work in Japan. We felt it was very important that we try to put together a couple of surfboards that we can auction to uh, raise money for some form of relief. I think if I can donate something, somehow be a part of it in some way, that'd be cool. There's this folk character called Momentaro. He was born from a peach, and he was like, he's like a childhood folk hero, because I do this pink color called Electric Peach, which would be perfect for Momentaro, because he comes from a peach. And we'll make the board a Momentaro board. Essentially what Robbie's been doing is shaping around the world. He'll go into Japan, move down to Australia, shape there, and then next it's off to Italy and France. With the Windows phone, the live tiles, he can just pull it out of his pocket, look at it, see if he's got new email or messages, and it really facilitates our business. I'm kind of more or less committed to being uh, in obscure geological locations where the reef or the wind or the the sand or whatever is worked out just right through nature, and so that's an obscure place. That's where I need to be able to conduct my business, is off some reef or off some point of land, off a dirt road. And if I can live in, in an old van there and have a modern tool to be able to keep me productive, then I am selling boards in Paris from Morocco in a van. And if that's going down, then I'm doing what I'm trying to do don't work so much that you can't serve. <laughs>